What is the difference between an insurance agent and a broker? One thing that everyone in the insurance industry agrees on is that clients should seek professional advice to ensure that they are getting the proper coverage at the right price. If you ask anyone outside of the insurance sector this question, they will most likely react with their own, what's the difference? It is safe to assume that the majority of individuals do not understand the distinction between an insurance agent and a broker, and frequently use the two names interchangeably. The truth is that there are substantial distinctions between the work of insurance agents and brokers. What is the role of an insurance agent? Let's start with the fundamentals. A person who acts on behalf of another individual or organization is known as an agent. An agent in the insurance industry represents one or more insurers. The agent is in charge of distributing the insurer's products, which are insurance policies. They may represent a single insurance company or multiple. Agents operate as mediators, giving information from the insurance business or companies they represent to potential buyers. They have contracts with insurers that outline which policies they are permitted to offer and how much money they may expect to make from doing so. One of the most important components of what makes an agent an agent is their ability to bind the insurer because they represent the company. Insurance agents are classified into two types. Agents in captivity. Captive agents operate full-time or as independent contractors for a single insurance business. They may receive operational support from the insurance company that hires them, such as an office or administrative personnel. They frequently receive referrals and leads on potential clients from the insurance. Because captive agents exclusively sell insurance products from the insurer they represent, captive agents are extremely informed about those products. Agents who work alone. Independent agents deal with a variety of insurers, and because they are not bound to a single business, they can frequently offer a broader range of insurance products. This means that they can provide insurance firms with a broader distribution network than captive agents. Independent agents will be authorized to price and issue insurance policies on behalf of the insurers they represent, mostly through the systems of those insurers. Customers can use the systems to access specific insurance types, pricing models, and support tools. These agents may provide their customers with additional services such as claims help, a review of other insurance policies, and guidance. They are quite similar to insurance brokers, however, because their obligation is to the insurer rather than the client, there are limitations to what they may give a client. What is the role of an insurance broker? A broker is an insurance specialist who legally represents individuals or organizations wishing to purchase insurance. In some areas, insurance brokers have a fiduciary obligation to their clients, which means they are compelled by law to operate solely in their clients' best interests. A broker will work with their clients to find and create the finest insurance plan for their unique coverage requirements. They are not required to sell plans from one insurance company or another, which means they can search around for the best coverage at the greatest pricing based on their clients' needs. When a business hires a broker, it may expect to be guided through the full insurance purchasing process. There are also other types of brokers. Brokers in retail. A retail broker is the one who works the most closely with the client. Retail brokers can help their clients identify the correct insurance to buy, either directly from an insurance business or from wholesale brokers. Retail brokers typically engage with less complex insurance products that cover ordinary hazards. Brokers in bulk. Wholesale brokers offer a broader range of insurance products. These insurance products are sold to both retail brokers and insurance agents. A wholesale broker does not need to contact or work with clients in order to understand their needs. Brokers of surplus lines. When a client's insurance demands exceed what the conventional or admitted market would insure, he or she may need to turn to surplus lines or non-admitted insurers. A properly licensed surplus lines broker is required for this. Brokers of surplus lines might be retail or wholesale. It is a customized license that allows access to specific insurers with more specialized policies or risk tolerances.